Hey there, this is Chris and I do layman tech reviews on gadgets, especially cameras and its accessories or anything that makes my life easier as a parent of three young kids. For today, I just want to talk about my EOS M and the only couple of lenses that I have. I want to talk about cheap lenses, alternative lenses that you can put on your EOS M or any um, or any of the um, mirrorless, Canon mirrorless using um, the EFS lenses because you can really get them cheap uh, on the second hand market uh, got the 10 to 18 and I've got the 55 to 250 very good for video now um, the one problem that I have um, with these lenses is that this one starts off with F4, I think, um, the EOS 55mm comes at F4 to F5.6, so that's not really great for low, low light. And the EFS 10 to 18 starts off with F4.5, so it's not that great. So the one solution that you can have when you mount this on the EOS M is to use an adapter. Now there are really two types of adapters. The first one is the official adapter that comes from um, Canon, where you can adapt EF full frame or the EFS, which is the APS-C version onto the EOS M cameras. Or you have um, speed boosters made by companies like Viltrox or Metabones, I heard. Now, the problem with the Viewtrox adapter is that it only takes in the full frame version. Whereas this one, it's um, EFS mount, APS-C mount, so it will not fit into the speed booster. And why do you need to use a speed booster? It's, it's really because once you use a speed booster with the EFS lens, the aperture um, can, go, um, can go higher by uh, one stop. So take for an example this f4, f4 lens becomes an f2.8 lens once you pair it with the speed booster. So the question here is how do you make this EFS lens fit into the view truck speed booster because that speed booster only takes in the EF mount and this is the EFS mount. I've got a solution for you. All right, and the solution is in this box. China-made adapters. Metal. All right, I'm gonna just do this for the first time from the camera so you get to see how it's done, how easy or how hard it's gonna be. Um, let's get to it. All right, let's try. EFS 10 to 18. Um, I have this. Comes with four screws. Okay. It's the metal mount to replace the plastic mount. Nice. Okay. Four screws now. Let me count. One, two, three, four. Four screws pull out. Okay, that's good. Let's try that. Phillips. Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. Let's try. Let's try this one. All right. Okay, one down. Two down. Now, people will say that once you change the mount, just make sure that autofocus still works. 
Okay, so just be very careful about that. I might just use the... Yeah, okay. Do I use the original screws or the new screws that come that came with the new mount? Let's see. Okay. So let's keep them on side so that I don't lose them. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. There are six screws. There's two, one here. There are two here. And I think it houses the, the contacts. All right. Now to fit the metal mount, it needs to fit in nicely. Okay. Hmm. It's a bit tough. Does it fit in nicely here easily? Silly me. This is meant to be on the other side. Okay. Okay, got it in. Looks like I'm just gonna reuse the old screws. Because at least I know that one is a perfect fit. And now they are the four screws. One down. Two down.
three down. Come on, and last one. The other thing you need to be worried about if you were to buy an adapter like this is that you gotta make sure that the height is the flange. See this thing, it moves. Let's see. So I'm gonna make sure that it will not hit the speed booster. I don't think it will hit the speed booster. Doesn't look like it. So, um, speed booster. This is the Viewtrox speed booster. Let's see. Cannot fit. Why? Okay. Let's try it again. Red dot to red dot. Doesn't seem to be hitting the glass element, so that's good. So now for the autofocus test. Okay. Autofocus seems to work. Let me change it to aperture priority. It works. Or oh, at least I think it is. So. I don't know why, but it doesn't recognize the aperture settings. Oh, it does. Autofocus works, but at 10 millimeter using the speed booster because it has a 0.72 crop, 0.71 crop, you will have a little bit of vignetting at 10 millimeters. That's off, okay. Can live with that. Um, aperture seems to be registering, and you can see is at 3.2 one full stop because this is a minimum aperture of this is 4.5 and now because of the speed booster it now can register at 3.2 that is awesome all right hope you like that video till then take care and god bless